Okay, so here's the problem. I have a wire, uh, and it can have a current in it, and it's over a compass. It's three centimeters over a magnetic compass. And the question is, how much current would you need to run through this wire so that the compass deflects 40 degrees? Now, let me just show you. I actually have, boom, a compass. Look at that. And that's, you know, I, I find that a lot of people have not really played with compasses before. Uh, that's fine. Uh, there is one in your phone, too. And here's a wire. So the wire is like this over the compass, and I want that to deflect 40 degrees. So let's just hook this up. I actually brought a battery. Oh, cr I thought that was magnetic. Let's see. Okay, there. So now let's just connect this and just see a deflection. Uh, I'm just going to hold it not 3 centimeters. just going to hold it right there. And then I'm going to connect it, and you can see what happens. Okay, now what if I did the wire like this, and I connect it? Nothing. So what is going on is the current is going through the wire. Actually, in this way, it's in this case, it's going that way. I can use my right hand. This is my right hand, see? My right hand rule, if I put my thumb in the direction of the current, the fingers show the direction of the magnetic field wrapping around. So on top of the wire, the magnetic field is going that way. On the bottom of the wire, it's going this way. So this magnetic compass is going to show the net direction of the magnetic field. So I have the magnetic field of the Earth plus the magnetic field due to the wire. And that's what's going to make it tilt 40 degrees. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, so let's first look at the compass. Um, so that was one of the things that we have to think about is what direction should this wire be. This wire has to be going north-south. It doesn't matter if the current's going this way or that way, it'll still deflect 40 degrees either to the west or to the east. Okay, so here is my compass and this is the magnetic field. This is the horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field at this location, 2 times 10 to the negative 5th Tesla. Uh, actually the Earth's magnetic field has a very large downward component too, but the compass is, is weighted. There's actually a weight in one side so that it will stay level. Um, that way, if you take this compass and use it in the southern hemisphere, the needle will actually uh, get tilted down and it doesn't work very well. I've been told. I've actually never been in the southern... No, I have been in the southern hemisphere. I take that back. Okay. So here is north, and there is my uh, B due to the Earth. It's a vector. And I want the deflection to be 40 degrees with this as B wire. So if I know the magnitude of B Earth, I'm sorry, this is B Earth, and that's B wire, and I know the angle 40 degrees, then I can say the following. The tangent of theta, let's just call it theta, is going to be equal to the opposite over adjacent, so that's going to be the magnitude of B wire divided by the magnitude of B earth. From that I can solve for the magnitude of B wire must be equal to the magnitude of the earth's magnetic field times tangent of theta. So by looking at the deflection uh, I could get the magnitude of the wire, and you could solve for that now, but I'm not going to do that. The other thing is now that I know uh, I have this wire carrying a current, and I know the distance is 3 centimeters or 0 0.03 meters, uh, then I can use the equation for the magnitude of the magnetic field due to a wire and solve for the current. So if I solve this for the current, I get I equals 2 pi r b wire over mu naught. And remember, mu naught is the magnetic constant. It's 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th. Tesla meters per amps, and that's why you have to convert that to meters. And then if I put in my expression for the uh, magnitude of the magnetic field, I get uh, 2 pi r b earth tangent theta over mu naught. And that will give me my current. So I know 2, I know pi, I know r, I know b earth, I know theta is 40 degrees, I know mu naught. So I can put all those in my calculator, which I did in Python, and I'll give you the link, and I get 2.517 amp. But this is a good thing to check. I mean, if this problem was from a textbook, I, I don't remember where this problem came from, uh, but 
you want a reasonable number. So, you know, if I have a current of under an amp, that should be fine. You can always find some situation where you have very small currents. Uh, 10 amps, that's a lot of current. Uh, 20 amps, okay, now you're starting to melt stuff. So if you get 20 amps, I hope it's not something like in your house uh, that's running all the time. That's a lot of current. Uh, so there we have. That's how much current is needed to deflect that compass. I'll talk to you physics people later.